What is going on guys? Gray here today and I talk about will Call of Duty always be on PlayStation or will it eventually become a Microsoft exclusive? In case you have not heard, Activision and Blizzard was acquired by Microsoft. So now they will own all the rights to those games that Activision and Blizzard make once this acquisition is complete. Now before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. It helps me out a lot here on the channel. And also if you're not uh, subbed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Now a lot of people were kind of worried when they heard about the Activision and Blizzard acquisition. Um, a lot of people thought maybe they will make Call of Duty and a lot of these other games that Microsoft uh, have kind of the rights to now they'll, they'll make those games exclusive to just xbox and pc the ceo at microsoft which of course is phil spencer said he had plans to honor all of the uh you know contracts with these games that kind of are already in place since they have acquired activision and blizzard but he did not mention what he's going to do with these once those contracts are done so we've got some information from some inside sources at activision a Bloomberg report claims that Activision had already committed to making the next three Call of Duty games available on Sony's consoles before the new Microsoft purchase kind of came out. That means, of course, Infinity Ward's Modern Warfare sequel, which comes out this year in 2022, would be on PlayStation. Then next year's Treyarch game, which is set to be, of course, in 2023, would also be coming to uh, Sony's platform as well. And then the new Call of Duty Warzone Two, which was leaked yesterday so if you guys have not heard about this there was a leak showing that call of duty warzone 2 is in kind of a, a process of being made and that it will be available on playstation consoles as well in 2023 so it looks like of course the next modern warfare game the next Treyarch sequel and the next quote warzone will be uh, playable on playstation consoles now the next warzone a lot of people are speculating that this will be a upgraded version for new gen consoles since we don't have a new gen version of warzone just yet but after that the executives at activision said they really had no clue what sony and microsoft were going to do so they don't know if it's going to end up being a microsoft thing where it's an exclusive to you know xbox and pc they could definitely do that i mean they already have halo which does has a lot of success they could actually move call of duty over to microsoft i would assume they would do like they did back in the day in case some of you did not play uh, years and years ago it used to be an exclusive thing to xbox kind of like it was an exclusive thing to playstation over the last several years where if you were on xbox you got then it was we bought dlc so xbox got 30 days early access to that dlc before it came out of course you know on playstation they may do something like that in the future where you're getting skins and and things for just being an xbox live member who knows exactly what's going to happen i could see them i guess in, in some form or fashion making it an exclusive for microsoft but at the same time uh, call of duty has been the number one selling game in the united states for what 15 years now just about and i think that would lose them a lot of money if they made the game just exclusive to xbox and pc and did not have call of duty anymore on playstation because call of duty since it's been out has been available on all platforms like i said i could see them maybe somehow giving xbox and, and pc exclusive things but at the same time i don't know if they will ever really just completely take it away from you know being on playstation as well leave me a comment with your thoughts guys of course we've got several years now until that actually happens we also have a lot of news about uh call of duty not being a game that's released yearly anymore so we'll kind of have to wait and see when all this acquisition stuff goes through what exactly is going to happen with call of duty in the future but leave me a comment with your thoughts and i'll catch you next time peace